an ordinary overnight shift shattered by gunfire. They have an active shooter currently at FedEx. <laughs> giving FedEx employees like Levi Miller little time to react. And he started shouting and then he started firing at random directions. Federal and local investigators now combing through the crime scene. Authorities have identified the gunman as 19-year-old Brandon Scott Hole, a former FedEx employee who was known to local police and FBI for a mental health condition. Police say he was carrying a rifle when he arrived at the FedEx facility at 11 p.m., immediately opening fire in the parking lot, killing four victims, injuring others. He then went inside the facility where he shot four more victims before police say it appears he turned the gun on himself and took his own life. There was no confrontation uh, with anyone that was there. There was no disturbance. There was no argument. He just appeared to randomly start shooting. Investigators search Hole's home today for evidence and a possible motive. One that follows weeks of similar violence. A shooting rampage at spas in Atlanta, Georgia. Another at a Boulder, Colorado grocery store. And last week at a residence in South Carolina. Last night was a devastating blow. And its impact will be felt by our community for days and weeks to come. And families like Carol Weissert spending agonizing hours waiting for word of loved ones, like her husband, Steve. I would have to say maybe I'm losing a little bit of hope as more time goes on. Katie, do we know why it's taking so long for families to be notified? Well, here in Indiana, a positive identification must be made by a family member, a dental record, and DNA. So that explains why it's taking significantly longer tonight. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.